We're all looking for deep, meaningful answers to life questions. Many of us, when we're going and trying to be answered by other people, we find that the answer that you just got from your friend, from your teacher, from the person you consult with, is not correct to what you actually asked him. When he sees that his effort in this physical world does not bring the proper fruits, he needs to call Hashem, he needs to call the Creator. And then something amazing happens when you being pushed and sent to the field, to that quiet place where you will be able to express your heart and talk to the Creator like you talk to your best friend from your heart, honest words. And what happens in the field alone with Hashem is the speech Speeches and words that are coming out from your mouth are in the aspect of Ruach HaKodesh. It's a clear divine spirit. And how a person can know that when he's praying, so his prayer is in the aspect of divine spirit. Because you can see many times you are being answered already in your requests. While questioning and doubting and hoping and asking and sharing your heart, you can already see the hand of Hashem, the hand of God over there answering and hinting you to the answers that you asked for. You asked Hashem, please Hashem, make me happy. Why am I so depressed? Hey, I said, why am I not happy? And then I said to myself, why am I so depressed? Okay, so that's a hint. There is an issue of depression here when my happiness is being questioned. For an example, you can say, Hashem, I want to make my wife happy. Please let me know what I can do to make her happy. Okay, now you ask Hashem, I want to make my wife happy. And then your second request was already, let me know what will make her happy. So it means that for you to make her happy, you need to investigate what will make her happy. And you see that you were just asking simply one request after the other, praying for one thing after the next. And inside the words that came out of your mouth, the divine supervision already answered you and sent you to the right direction. And this is why before we say the Shmona Esra prayer, the silence, prayer we're saying Hashem Sfatai Tiftach Upi Agiti Ilatecha Hashem open my lips and my mouth will praise you what does it mean that if you will open my lips I'll be able to praise you and if you will not open my lips I won't be able to praise you so the praises and the prayers are coming out of the fact that the Creator planted them into my mouth. The prayer is a direct result out of a divine spirit that came into your heart and from that moment and on is being expressed. So what is being expressed? The Godly Spirit, the Divine Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. You see, you can have Ruach HaKodesh, you can have a Divine Spirit. What you need to do for that? You need to do one thing. You need to go to a quiet place and over there you need just to be honest, to open your heart and to talk to the Creator like you talk to your best friend. Now, there are many ways to go to the field. You can go with your heart open and you can go out of a certain stressful situation that makes you anxious and not able to express yourself. One way that you are going to the field is out of joy and happiness. Okay, I'm going to come and talk to Hashem and pray to Hashem. The other option that you have to come to Hashem is out of a struggle, out of a pain, out of loneliness, out of the fact that you cannot find an answer and a solution for your issues. So the person in that case, when he does not have a spirit of happiness and joy that is already there to open his mouth to pray, he needs to find ways how to push himself, how to warm his engines for that wonderful prayer. And the way to do it of course is different from every individual but first of all let's try to count and find some ways that will uh, assist us and will give us the opportunity to express ourselves in a beautiful way so one of the ways that a person can open his mouth and pray is just to say simple things even if you don't find the passion and the flame in your heart you can like force yourself push yourself into the hit bodhidut whilst just talking in a simple way forcing yourself to say please Hashem help me to solve all my problems please Hashem help me to find the right way how to educate my children please Hashem help me that money will flow to my hands calmly without pressure without stress please Hashem purify my thoughts help me to think in a positive way you can force yourself in that way and to 
warm your engines from one word to the next you'll find yourself doing a long hit but do let's say that you find yourself in the field stuck with no words you don't know how to talk you don't feel what to say you don't have no understanding you already said everything you felt like you need to be said now the main thing to do is to find the point of truth of your heart in that moment for an example you cannot find words to express your feelings you can pray on that you can say to Hashem you know Hashem I came to the field for one hour because I heard that that's what I need to do and one hour will be good for me to pray and I already mentioned all the things that I had in my mind to speak about and now I finished mentioning all of them can it be that I don't have any other things to pray for and also maybe I need to pray more on every one of those things but I'm not finding words can you please Hashem give me words can you please put prayers in my mouth for me to express my needs to have nice requests for you and also nice claims maybe I'll be able to convince you can you please guide me and teach me how to pray already from that lack of words you find yourself praying for minutes on minutes on minutes and you can speak for hours in that way just to be honest when we say that you need to speak to Hashem like you speak to your best friend, we mean everything that you would be able to express in front of your best friend, you should express in front of Hashem. Open your mouth and be honest. The most innocent and simple and naive prayer, the most honest and friendly way that you will speak with the Creator is the highest and most elevated way that you can express prayer. And Another option of how to warm your engines is to sing. You can compose your own tunes just like to pray and praise or that you can use tunes and, and music that you already familiar with that you know and you're just gonna plant and put the simple words of your heart into those prayers. Freedom through faith.